Hey everyone, it's Sarah with ResternerseRN.com and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the QRS complex which is found on the ECG. So let's get started. QRS interval or also known as the QRS complex represents ventricular depolarization. So this is leading to the contraction of the ventricles. Also found in this, but you can't see it, is atrial repolarization where the atria are relaxing, but the ventricles are so large that whenever the atria relax, it's overshadowed by the ventricles. So you're really only seeing ventricle depolarization here. Next, look at the QRS complex. It should be behind every P wave and it should look like this. It shouldn't be very wide or narrow. Here we have VTAC. Notice how wide that QRS complex is. Whenever you measure it, it should be no more than 0.12 seconds. And you want to start measuring at the Q wave to the end of the S wave. Then apply the three R's to the QRS complex. Look at the regularity of the QRS complex. Are the QRS complexes occurring at the same regularity as the consecutive QRS complexes within that strip? This represents ventricular. You can do this by taking your calipers, just how you did with the P waves and going from R wave to R wave. Both the atrial and ventricular rhythm, the regularity should be regular in order for it to be normal sinus rhythm. And that shows that it's originating in the SA node. Then look at the rate of that QRS complex within that six second strip and count those complexes and multiply by 10. This is the ventricular rate and the atrial rate and the ventricular rate should be the same around 60 to 100 beats per minute for normal sinus rhythm. And lastly, resemblance. How do they look? Do they look like QRS complexes? Is there one present after each P wave? They don't measure any more than 0.12 seconds, so less than three boxes. Okay, so that wraps up this video and if you'd like to watch more videos on ECG interpretation, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.